Good Saturday morning, everybody. Today, I'm going to take a little time. I'm going to start the second part of that Berserk video. I have my carriage bolts. I have my Tim Hortons coffee. And we're going to go out there and get at that thing. We're going to mount that board set. Uh, maybe we can mount a monitor. What? I don't know what monitor I'm going to use. I, I don't... I might use my that G07 over there that I use for testing, and then put something else over there. I don't know. Well, I'll take stock of what I have, and maybe we'll rebuild a monitor for it. I don't know. We'll figure that out. But I want to get that board mounted, and um, boy, what else after that? Wiring. Let's get that wiring harness taken care of. So we'll mount the board, and we'll take care of the wiring. Those two things. So, yeah. I still got that Star Wars board set here. I'll tilt this down a little bit. This is that Star Wars set that I... Uh, I haven't started part two on that one yet. We're going to get to that. Maybe I'll get to that today at some point. Starting to analyze and figure out that, that math box issue that has killed all of the graphics, the, uh, the vector graphics on this thing as far as the... Uh, the stars and the moving stuff, you know, the enemies and whatnot. So that'll, I'll probably start that later today, but today, for the first part of the day, it's early. I want to get some work done on that berserk. Let's go. And there is where we left, last left off. We have the board set here. And the game is right here. So we need to figure what we're doing here. So let me kind of pretty light. Get this out of the way. Okay. We got that out of the way. And eh, right. Okay. Carriage bolts. Let me grab the carriage bolts. Grab the carriage bolts and more importantly, grab my coffee. Let's see how these are going to work out. Of course, they didn't have they didn't have black oxidized black oxided bolts or anything like that, which would have been cool. And these are too big. Darn it. And there's a spider. <sighs> these carriage bolts are too big. Goodness gracious. Okay. Well, looks like I got some free carriage bolts. I will... I gotta go grab more. I gotta go grab the right size. These ones are too fat. So they won't go through the... They won't go through the cabinet. So I'll be back. Hardware store is pretty close. Okay, so I just went to the hardware store and picked up some 3 16th inch bolts. And you can see they go through here. So that is the proper size. And then they just got to go into here. I just kind of need to hammer them through there, you know. Right here. It's a tight fit. It's a tight fit, but they're going to go. It's going to work. I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, it was probably some... This is the smallest carriage bolt that they had. So it was probably... Yeah, it might be the right side. I don't know. Might have been some stupid metric bolt or something. I don't know. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. I don't think I should put them all through just yet. I'll do the two back ones. Let's move this guy. 
let's move that guy like this towards the back of this and I'll take the the set of boards around front put them through there take this set of boards over here okay oh goodness These are not exactly the right size bolts. Well, this is deceptively difficult. More difficult than it should be. They didn't have an inch and a quarter, which I wanted. So I had to get an inch and a half, which is longer than I wanted. that how is that 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 doesn't line up that's just flat out weird I know how it is darn it are you kidding I got this one on the wrong spot. That's okay. I can fix that. Let me go grab my screwdriver thing. Nut driver. Hey, yeah, you can see what I've done here is I've got this one on here. This one doesn't fit. It it's offset. This needs to go back here. So I just got to remove this screw, move this, screw it in, and then it should be okay. Okay, now I've got those two through. i got to put the uh, washers and nuts on there. We're getting there. Getting the board set proper where it belongs, right? Okay. Let's kind of loosely do that. Now, I think this last one, I need to push this all the way in. Maybe. Just about getting it lined up. Okay. 
There we go. Get the hammer and hit that in. This last one back here. Let me where is it? It's right there. Might should have lock washers on here, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. I would have actually likened, liked to shorten these a little bit. Just need to get some pliers or something. Tighten these down. I'll do that off camera. Tighten these down really good, and that'll that'll be the board mounted. The board the board panel mounted. Okay. Mounted. Got a broken cap. Power supply. It's all good. We're making progress. We're getting somewhere. Cool. So next I'm going to start removing this harness and we'll put the other harness in. So let's get to it. Old harness is out. <clears throat> All the screws are right there. Yeah, all stripped out. So we'll put the new harness in. This will go into my repurposing pile for making harnesses for repair. Yeah, so let me grab the other harness. I'll start putting that in. I'll be back when that's done. All right, so here's our power input, power cord, and we're hooked up here, and harness is hooked up into there. This is all hooked up. I need to tighten this. That's the ground for the coin door. This stuff all hooked up. And this is hooked up. And all this. And this stuff. It's all hooked up. Plug and play. Put it in and plug it in. Got a loose wire here. Have to investigate that. Probably just broke off of this. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll look into that. Yeah, hooked up. We're all hooked up and wired up. Excellent.
Okay, one step at a time. Now I think I will move this thing into a more... I want to get it up here while the monitor's not in it. Get it up that step. And then we'll put a monitor in it. You know, kind of start finishing it out. Here's all of our monitor hookups. This is just a ground, I take it. This is going to be monitor power, the orange. And here's your signals. Yeah. Good to go. Oh, let's go ahead and end this one. This is part two. We did the harness and mounted the board panel. And this leaning over and screwing all this stuff in and unscrewing it in, it's just it's kind of tough for a 50-year-old dude. I get tired. So I'm going to be done for now. We're going to, yeah, so I'll just post this as part two and stay tuned for part three. We'll get this thing moved up into the main floor here, put a monitor in it. And I was looking over my monitors, and I got lots of them. Most of them are, I got a lot of just tubes, to be honest. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, I know that this monitor right here works. This one right here actually works. And it's not the greatest monitor in the world. So I think I'm going to let this monitor start being my test monitor. And I'm going to take this GO7 that I've got rebuilt right there. This nice GO7 that I use for testing, this is going to go in berserk. It's a nice rebuilt GO7. So that's going to be my berserk monitor. And that one, that other, whatever it is, that TOEI or whatever, I don't even know what it is. That's what I'll use for testing. Alright guys, see you on part three. Bye for now.